shit. So I'm going to do part two of the previous video. So I think I had left off at the job being praise list. So like you see the people walking on the runway. They people that have no idea that it might have taken 10 people to just get one girl, one guy, one, anyone down the runway. You have no idea. We have to be a seamstress. We have to be a best friend. We have to be a therapist. We have to be a MacGyver, a magician. Things that they don't pay me enough to do. But I do it because I'm already here and I don't want my name to be tarnished behind the scenes. Let me tell you a story. I had this one well-known model and well-known actress, and we're still cool to this day. She's cool. And she had an incident where her cycle came on while we were waiting for her to walk down the runway. And she freaked out. She just curled up into a ball and just laid on the floor and flipped out. And I'm just like, what is going on? What, what's wrong? And she's just not telling me. I'm just like, what's? I've already seen you naked, girl. We're here now. We are best friends now, okay? What's up? It's just like I started my cycle. I'm just like, girl, that's it. I got some tampons, some pads, you know, some wipes, some everything, and some clean underwear for you in my bag. So when you work behind the scenes, you need to have something called a set kit or the, the dresser kit. All these things are inside your kit for anything may, that may come up, any mishaps while you're working behind the scenes. And she was just like so surprised how understanding and caring I was. I'm like, girl, I got you. Don't worry about it. I got, you, got her a new set of clothes, got her cleaned up, followed her to the bathroom. Yes, I had to touch her clothes and give it to the other staff to handle and discard. But got her together. Another story would be I had a plus size model whose garments ended up popping on her as she was preparing to walk down the runway and I caught it. So I'm like her strap popped and she has a rip in her crotch and she's just like, oh my God, this is my big break. My first fashion show with the big name, blah, 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 IG influencer. And I'm like, girl, I got you. Thank God I have, I'm a seamstress and a fashion designer. So I have my sewing kit with me at all times, 24 seven. So I literally stitched the strap, stitched her crotch and stitched everything while she was wearing it. I stitched it in her. I literally had to get in her crotch and stitch. Yes, they don't pay me enough for that. Like, you're dealing with bloody garments, dealing with crotches, and it was lingerie. So, I'm just going to leave that there and let your imagination wander, what I had to do and deal with. But, um, that's just a little bit of what you have to do behind the scenes when you're a dresser. Um, you also may come across, you know, mean girls, who, you know, those, you don't know who I am, you can't sit with those type of girls. And I don't want to tolerate that. I'm a positive, outgoing person. If you're nasty, just don't come over here with that energy, sis. Like, keep that over there. It's a smart industry. You don't know who I know. I don't know who you know. So don't, don't bring it over here. I'm not the one. At all. 